I'm Narita and welcome to my kitchen. And welcome to my Blue Apron adventure. Um, we received a Blue Apron box, which you should have already seen the unboxing of that. I was very impressed with the way it was packaged and all of that. You can see that in that video. I'll link that below and you can go take a look at it. But tonight, uh, the Blue Apron box contains enough for three separate meals for two people. Well, we're a family of four, so our Blue Apron adventure is mom's going to cook all three of them and we're all going to eat it for dinner and we're all going to do separate videos um, of each dish so you can see them and then we're going to do taste tests of each thing while we eat our supper. So join me as we do that and I hope you enjoy. Tonight we're making the grilled shrimp cocktail with eggplant, caponata, and asparagus. So, this, you have to have two cloves of garlic, a tablespoon of capers, and all of this stuff comes pre-measured, remember, it came in my kit. A bunch of basil, a bunch of parsley, which I have chopped each one of those there. Uh, a little bitty eggplant, a lemon, a half a bunch of asparagus. I have already removed the lower woody parts. Um, 10 ounces of deveined shrimp, and then these are the ingredients here, ketchup and uh, horseradish for uh, cocktail sauce. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the eggplant and the asparagus in the oven for about 15 minutes, and when they're soft, I'll, um, I'll pull them out. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and prepare the rest of it. What I've done with those vegetables is I... I uh, drizzled them with a little olive oil. I put a half of uh, lemon I squeezed over the top, and uh, that's it. So there's just lemon and olive oil on those vegetables. They're going to roast in the oven, and the oven is at around 450, and we're going to bring those out in about 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead, and I have some garlic paste here, and I'm just going to mix this in to my shrimp. And yes, I'm using my bare hands. Go figure. I've squeezed part of a lemon on here. I'm going to squeeze the other half of this lemon on my shrimp, just like that. And put some parsley on here and some basil, but not too much because Rick doesn't like it. Hmm? It, like it doesn't taste like soap. Rosemary tastes like soap. Yuck. Okay, so now we're supposed to make four shrimp skewers with this so I'm just going to start threading all right I am really surprised um the picture shows I'll show you the picture shows three shrimp per skewer and they gave me four skewers uh they gave me enough shrimp to put six and one of them has seven so um very generous very, generous. very generous but you know when you're talking about this is a main course so you know I am not going to put these on the grill. We didn't fire up the grill tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pop these in that hot oven along with those veggies. These are going to take about five minutes and that's it. And then when they're ready to come out, we will come back. Let's see. I'm just going to pop these in there. Where's mine? veggies are cooking away. I'm going to pop these in there right next to them. When they're ready to come out, I'll come back and show you what they look like. Okay, everything is ready to come out of the oven. Our shrimp are done. They look beautiful. Our veggies are done and they also look beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shrimp off the hot pan so it doesn't cook any further and then I'm going to go ahead and proceed with making the caponata. This is the finished product of the grilled shrimp cocktail with eggplant, caponata, and asparagus. The shrimp are tasty. Mm -hmm. Perfect. They're very nice. Mm. I'm going to dip it in sauce. You can dip it in the cocktail sauce if you like. What's on this? Hmm? What is on this? On this is garlic and basil and lemon juice and a little olive oil. And then the caponata, I've already tasted. I don't think anybody else in the family is going to enjoy it, but what do you think, honey? Mm, I like that. You do? It's good. Like I said, I added red wine vinegar and a little bit of sugar to it. Mm, that was really good. And I like it. 
That is the grilled shrimp cocktail with the eggplant caponata and asparagus. And um, we give it a thumbs up. It's very tasty. But in the end, I will say, I didn't care for the recipe for the caponata, and I did adjust it to my liking, and that's fine. And I think that Blue Apron should reconsider how they tell people to do the garlic paste. So that is my only thing that I would change about this. So that is the grilled shrimp cocktail, and we all loved it. So this is my review of the Blue Apron box. And I hope that you take it for what it's worth, and I hope that it was informative, and I hope you learned something. I hope you go to Blue Apron and you check them out. And um, until next time, I'll see you. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber. Don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!